Why? What? Why does it say I didn't read the entire Are you seriously just threatening people for warrants? You should read the U.S. Constitution. So what? I'm standing right here. I heard what you said. I didn't even hear it. Really? What was that about? It's none of your business. I'm talking to Brent. Officer Clark, why are there so many police here? We're we just uh, having signs and drumming. Predictive policing. That's not Predictive call. That's policing? Is that what, what? you arrest people for crimes no, they no, didn't commit yet? We weren't here last year. How, that can, how can that be in the, the algorithm? Did you get that taken care of? <laughs> why wouldn't you give me your name that evening? I asked for your name. Deputy Chief. Are you seriously just coming the out The evening of November 9th. And mock them? Why wouldn't you give me your name? I gave you my name. I told you that I was really? with the press outlet that I'm with. You wouldn't give me your name, Deputy Chief. Is that how a Deputy Chief should act? Yeah. Good. Seriously? Is this what America is to you? Yes, journalism is a crime now. Huh? Again? Is that all you can do? Why, why did you plan, why did you plan yeah, ask questions you uh, can't answer? Scabies and ringworm at the camp here? when there, oh, there had been no documented here cases. Go, here we go. Why did you, why, Officer Clark, why did you plan information with the news uh, about ringworm? We knew it came from your office. Your that's desk. Actually, that's not true. It came from your office. The reports have your name on it. I'm just wondering. Hi. Okay. And I just, I just set you straight on there, right? Okay, cool. Okay. How are you going to explain <laughs> this to your grandchildren? <laughs> That? How are you going to explain this to your grandchildren? I'm going to tell my grandchildren that there were a bunch of jackasses that came out here and couldn't manage to functionally make a statement. What? Kind of a point. That's how I'm going to explain it to them. Do you wait, think wait, wait, that wait. Really? So you're that? letting yeah, your yeah. personal yeah. opinion yeah. affect how you enforce the law? Oh, you really? Again. Here you go again. You don't even know me. What do you mean, you again? Why don't you answer my questions? You come out here and mock people? For arbitrary warrants that you issued? You're annoying. Go away. I'm annoying. Yeah, because you have You have should hear the words that just came out of your mouth. <laughs> she asked a question, I answered a question. If she can't handle an honest answer, then I'm sorry. I no, I want to know why well, you're you. being subjective with your law enforcement. Yeah, that's, that's true. Well, I, I would disagree with the premise of the question. What? I would disagree. So you feel that you're not being subjective, even though you just very clearly described your subjective opinion of what's going on here and why you feel it is worth your time as the chief of police of Santa Cruz to come out here and mock people that you've issued warrants for. No, and then you also mocked Alex. No! Steve, Steve Clark... He's on a public sidewalk! Steve Clark does it. He's, we have a... He does a lot of mocking. It's, it's kind of his character. It's, you think that's my character? Yeah, you do a lot of mocking. You you called me out physically for a fight here one night. You said, I, I wish it could be you and me. I won't run away, Brent. You know, like, it's kind of a thing with you. Okay. I don't, I don't know if that's mocking, but okay. Where is Danica and Amy? Yeah, let's go find that. Hey, Robert, how are you? Hanging in there, any final thoughts? What's up? Uh, posting any more lies on your website lately? Yeah, what lies have you read recently? Well, use most of what you write, Robert. Is uh, name one. It's not true. Name one. Let me go back and read it. Uh, name one lie. Okay, okay well, we'll wait for that. In the meantime, I see you don't have anything to name right now, even though you're making those accusations. Here we go. I'm still waiting for the lie. You just said I lie on the website. It, it what is hasn't it? Hasn't changed name a lie. Years, name one lie. Changed I mean, all, all we get from you is rhetoric. At least be interesting and new. Yeah. Well, when we talk understand. about 25 years, what about Code Blue, where your officer officers were beating sleeping yeah, homeless people lie, with baseball lie, bats? Yeah. No, no, no charges were brought. A waste of time. Actually, no, there were charges. You you lost your. Uh, if, no. if you remember back then, yeah, there were charges. Oh, I mean, the research I've done, no charges, just that the, the uh, chief of police lost his job over it, but no charges were ever yeah. Were you on duty at the time? We did you. Actually, they created an opportunity. <laughs> Is that right? All right. Uh, there was no me. You okay there, Alex? You know, I would recommend to you, too, that you read 136.1 of the penal code as I recommended to Brent. 136.1, one, one, one. take a look at that section. I don't and, and have that memorized. It all to today's situation. What were you telling Brent earlier? I don't, uh, one, three, six, what does that mean? I'm suggesting you read that. What I, is I, it? I don't know the penal code. 
We don't know that. What's it? Expected to memorize. Can you explain it to us? I just think it's probably a section that you should memorize yourself. Okay. Please, please though. Since you brought it up, just tell us what it is. It briefly about. It's intimidating a witness or a victim of a previous crime. How was I doing that? I don't know. I'm asking you to do that and tell me what you think. I was intimidating a witness. I'm asking for your independent thought on this. I don't. I you're wouldn't know joke. which. I, I don't know which witness or uh, you're talking you about. Yeah, me. No, again. Officer Clark. I wouldn't know it even. That's even pertaining to. 